What are the steps to turn off a child's iPhone remotely? Hello, wonderful parents. Today, we are going to discuss a topic that many of you often ask about, how to remotely turn off your child's iPhone. This might be necessary in situations where you need to enforce digital discipline or just want to ensure your child's well-being. So, let's get into the steps you need to follow. Is your child's iPhone set up with family sharing? The first thing to check is whether your child's iPhone is set up with family sharing. Family sharing is an Apple feature that allows families to share App Store purchases and iCloud storage plans. More importantly, it allows parents to keep tabs on their child's device usage. If the phone is not yet on family sharing, you would need to add it. Here's how to add your child's iPhone to family sharing. 1. On your iPhone, go to settings greater than your name. 2. Tap family sharing, add family member. 3. Follow the on-screen instructions to add your child's Apple ID. Setting up screen time. Once you have added your child's iPhone to family sharing, the next step is to set up screen time. Screen time is a feature introduced in iOS 12 that allows you to monitor and limit usage of specific apps, categories of apps, or all apps on an iPhone. To set up screen time on your child's iPhone, 1. On your iPhone, go to settings greater than your name, greater than family sharing, 2. Tap on your child's name, 3. Tap screen time, 4. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up screen time. Remotely turning off the iPhone. You might be wondering, now that I have set up screen time, how do I remotely turn off my child's iPhone? Unfortunately, Apple doesn't currently provide a direct method to remotely power off an iPhone. However, you can essentially achieve the same result by setting downtime. Downtime is a part of screen time that allows you to set a schedule for when your child's iPhone can't be used, except for phone calls and apps you choose to allow. Here's how to set downtime. 1. On your iPhone, go to settings greater than your name, greater than family sharing. 2. Tap your child's name, then tap screen time. 3. Tap downtime, then set a start and end time. So, there you have it. While you may not be able to physically power down your child's iPhone remotely, you can use family sharing and screen time to control when and how your child can use their device. This ensures that your child can only use their iPhone during the times you have permitted, effectively giving you the ability to turn off the device remotely. We hope this video has been helpful. Remember, it's all about ensuring your child's well-being and promoting healthy digital habits. Stay connected, stay safe, 